Well, from running into burning buildings to helping people in car accidents, firefighters truly are heroes, and they're just doing their job. Yeah, and once a year, they invite people to train with them and see what it's like. So Heather Abraham is at one of the training facilities with the Pittsburgh Firefighters in McCandless. So, Heather, what's next in your training today? Well, it's probably one of the most common things that happens out on our streets. We see car accidents every single day. Sometimes people are trapped in those vehicles, and some of the first to respond are our firefighters. They are there. They are there to help you. And you just saw minutes ago, I got to crack open the driver's side window here with just the simple push of a button. That little tool can help firefighters get inside the vehicle. But there's also something else, something you may have heard of. You've probably heard it used on the news before or out in public, the jaws of life. And we're going to get to put those tools to the test here in just a minute. But first, I want to introduce you to Captain Patrick Shaw with the Pittsburgh Bureau of Fire. Uh, tell us about car accidents, because they are probably one of the more common emergencies that you're responding to. Sure. So that, that's pretty much an everyday occurrence we go to. And the car accidents can range from something as mundane as somebody got a flat tire, blew their tire out and hit a curb to a vehicle completely rolled over. Um, there's different things we got to take into consideration as far as patient care, which is always first and foremost our concerns, patient care. Um, but there's a lot of things we have to take into consideration to get access to that patient. And again, for our priorities is always patient care, scene safety, and making an extrication pathway to get that patient out and get them to emergency medical care as fast as we can to get them to the proper authorities. You know, I think it's truly incredible because you are on some of our average secondary roads, but mm -hmm. you also respond to some of our highways in some very dangerous situations where people are seriously injured and getting to them fast is a priority. Absolutely. So they talk about in emergency medical services at the golden hour, which that's the the, gives a patient the greatest uh, chance at surviving whatever in, incident may be, and especially on highways, there, there's you know very high speed, very high mechanism of injury, ejections, things of that nature. So it it definitely ups the ante, so to speak, whenever you go on the highways. It was really incredible to see that, and I don't know what that push it's pen, a center punch, a center punch. Um, but we are actually going to put the jaws of life to action. Uh, Lieutenant Burnham is going to uh, help you assist with this. Okay. And one of the main things we're going to make sure is you're going to be on this side of the tool and not between the tool and the car itself. Okay. And we're going to have you just open. We'll have you close them again and then get deeper in because what we want to try and do is take little bites, so to speak, as we open the door little by little so this pops open. I'm going to control the door for and you. And now you've already wedged this a little bit. So and normally actually, you would have a full crew here to yes. help with this. So we actually kind of pre... It takes a few minutes to do this so we don't have enough time for the uh, yeah. shot. So we want to help you along. So am I pushing, holding and here? And is it this button? Oh, that's the on button. Oh, <laughs> don't turn it there off. Okay. 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 So then once it starts to crack, then we need to readjust. So, so we're go ahead and close it. Close it up. So what she's doing now is having to close the jaws up. We're gonna actually get deeper into the cut area. Keep close it a little bit. Because we need to wedge this open as much as possible, yep. right? So close ahead them all the way. This is really heavy. Normally, would you hold this by yourself? We're continuing to open here. You can hear that pop. Yep. Now, are we still opening? Yep, so we're going to close yep. them up. Close them up. Lieutenant Byrne's going to help you get a little bit closer to the, the U-bolt. And you can see all of the mechanics inside the door here. Okay. All right, and all we're going to keep on working on this. We're going to send this back into the studio, but you can see working as a team here, how we're able to get into this vehicle. This is just one of the many things that we're learning here at Fire Ops. We'll send it back in the studio to you. Well, thanks, Heather. And that goes to show you how hard it is and how much work that those firefighters have to put in to be able to get into a car like that. Yeah. It's and really they need to do it fast. And that device, yeah. I mean, it's amazing the power that that gives them to yeah. be able to open up a car like that. All right, we're going to check back in with Heather in just a little bit because she has more for us.